Hey everyone, you're welcome to Modern Infrastructure and today we're going to be deploying an AI backend service for a chatbot. The AI industry is growing and many companies and projects are integrating AI into their workflows. However, using AI in your own products has some major challenges and obstacles. As you can see the diagram, this is an end-to-end -end workflow of building and using an AI model. You have to prepare the data, train the model, fine tune the model, host and run the model, and build a backend service to serve the model. And then after that, you're still going to need to build a user interface that interacts with the model. Most AI engineers are only involved in a few steps of this process. However, there is one challenge that is common across the entire workflow, which is creating and managing the infrastructure. That's pretty hard. Training a model requires spinning up hyperscale GPU clusters. Preparing and consuming the data or fine tuning the data requires managing data warehouses and buckets of object storage. Building an AI backend service requires packaging the model, deploying and scaling the model ac across compute infrastructure, creating and managing the network infrastructure like load balancing and managing the vector databases. Building great front-end user experiences requires provisioning and managing CDNs and web application services. And now, it suffices to say that the most difficult challenge that we face with AI today is a problem of cloud orchestration. Most of this cloud orchestration today is done manually and with complex scripts. This is usually fraught with errors and simply doesn't scale. Too much time is spent making cloud infrastructure work instead of focusing on actual AI ML tasks. Infrastructure as code is a key component of solving the cloud orchestration challenge present in AI ML today. By applying the rigor and precision of software development practices to cloud operations, IAC offers AI ML professionals an efficient, reliable, and predictable way to develop at the highest velocity. Pulumi is an open source infrastructure as code platform that allows engineers to use modern programming languages, including Python, to provision and manage AI infrastructure. In this video, we will deploy an LLM model behind an API backend running on compute infrastructure in the cloud, just so that Pulumi can show you what's possible. Well, before we get into the details of using Pulumi to deploy Lama 2 API chatbot service in 30 minutes or less, of course, let's start with some quick terminology or context. The Catwalk server is a demo API application written to host your choice of LLM, either locally or in the cloud, and serve it as an open AI API compatible service. As a practical hands-on introduction to IAC for the ML ops space, this project aims to demystify the concepts and showcase the benefits Pulumi can bring to your AI ML models. Large language models or LLMs like ChatGPT are machine learning models trained to generate human-like conversational text, which have already become essential tools for businesses and individuals, transforming everyday tasks and how we interact with technology. Llama is an LLM created by Meta, available for free for research and commercial use. Now that we've gotten all of this terminology out of the way, there's some requirements to follow through with building this project. You'll need the Pulumi CLI, you need the Pulumi accounts and access token, you need Python 3, you need the Git CLI, you need a hugging face token, and your hugging face needs to have access to Llama 2. And you also need a Rompod API key because we are deploying to Rompod. Not to worry, there's a link to get all of these things in the description. So make sure that you click those links and follow through if you don't have all of these things today. So now let's get back to the real fun. Okay, so now I am in my CLI and I am going to type git clone because I want to clone the catwalk project. So let's wait for it to be complete. Now that the project is cloned, we need to create a Python virtual environment so that we can work. But before doing that, we'll need to CD into the right directory. So let's CD into catwalk 
slash Pulumi. So in this Pulumi directory, if I press LS, you would see that this is a Pulumi project. We have the Pulumi YAML, we have our Python scripts, we have a README, an Azure provider, a Docker provider, and a requirements.txt. Let's now create this Python environment by typing this. And now we can also activate the environment. So let's do source vimv bin activate. Now we are in our virtual environment and we need to install all of the dependencies. So we'll start by typing python 3 m and then pip install requirements.txt because we have a requirements.txt file. So this would go ahead and install all of the requirements that we need for our app to run, essentially. I'll go ahead and type clear because now my command prompt has become very, very, very busy. Yes, so now I've cleared the command prompt. This section is just going to be about putting all the configs that we need and registering them with Pulumi. So I already have them. The first config I need to set is my Hugging Face username. And by now you should already have your Hugging Face credentials. So I'll go ahead and set my Hugging Face username. And then I can set my Hugging Face secrets. Now I can set the Hugging Face model that I want to use, which is the Meta Lama 2 model. And it is the Lama 2 7B chats HF. And to get access to this model, Meta has to explicitly give you access to this model for personal and research purposes like we talked about. So if you follow the link, there's a way to do all of that. The links that we put in the description. So this is me setting the model. And we also have to set deploy to true because this is one of the things in the config. So we'll go ahead and set that as well. We're setting the runtime to run pod. So you have the opportunity to deploy it to Azure, to AWS, to run pod and to different places. But for this example, we're going to be using run pod. And finally, since we're using run pod, we need to set our run pod token. And this is my Rumpod token. You need to create a Rumpod.io account and get yours. Like I said before, all of this is in the description. So don't worry if you don't see it on the screen. So once we are done with this, we can now successfully run Pulumi up. And let's see the magic that happens. So it's going to preview all of my updates and show me what will get created. It's going to create these resources and I'm going to say yes. Fantastic. It has created my RunPod.io deployment and it is deploying the container in the cloud with RunPod. This is the URL to my chatbots and we will see how it works in a second. Let's go over to RunPod and take a look at my deployments. So I am in RunPod and this is one of my pods, Catwalk, which was just deployed. So the container is still getting deployed and it's still extracting and hasn't completely booted up, but we'll need to wait for a few minutes and we will see all of this in action pretty soon. As you can see here, our pod is running. So now let's go to Postman and try and hit this endpoint. So this is my Postman and we're going to make a post request since we are sending a prompt to receive a response. So let's make a post request. This is my chatbot URL and let's send the prompt. So let's go to body and hit raw. So I will send the prompt. And I will ask the chat bot, what are the colors of the rainbow? And hit send, waiting for my response. 
as you can see here i have my response the colors of the rainbow in order are red orange yellow green blue indigo violet these colors are also sometimes remembered using the acronym roybiv so this is what it is and we are done so we are done and we have deployed our chatbot to the cloud using Pulumi. Thank you for watching and I hope this was useful. See you in the next video. Bye.